Now we could take what we looked at in the previous lesson and actually create our own password generator. So instead of having to think of new passwords every time you need a new password for another login, you could use Excel to create you a random password generator. Now the steps are quite a few, but we can get this to work. Here in our password generator file, we have two tabs, passgen and LU, which is our lookup. And what I've done in here is I've created a small table of uniquely identified numbers. So they go from one all the way through to 67. And what I've done against each of those letters is firstly done every letter of the alphabet in uppercase, every letter of the alphabet in lowercase, 10 digits, and then five different, what you might refer to as special characters that systems that use passwords quite like to see because they make the password much stronger. So what I've done is I've listed all of these five, all the digits, all the letters in both uppercase and lowercase, and given them unique numbers. So the first of those numbers is one and the highest is 67. What I've then done is called that whole range a name of code. So what I want to do effectively is randomly generate eight numbers, look those eight numbers up in this list, and therefore give me eight randomly generated characters of different case values and possibly even some special characters thrown in. So how we do that is in our past gen section, I want that new password to appear here across the middle. So let's actually merge and center that as one big cell. And then my password will sit quite happily in the middle. Let's even make it red. But firstly, I need the code to generate that password. Well, the first thing is to randomly generate the eight numbers. So let's do this over here and then we can hide it. So we'll use rand between so that we're forcing it to stay looking between the lower and the upper value of our range, which is one and 67. And then I actually need another seven of those. So let's just replicate that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those are my seven random numbers. And when I go to the formulas and calculate now, you'll see that they keep changing. So I'm getting seven different numbers from my range of one to 67. What I then need to do just next to there is do a lookup. So it equals V lookup, look up the randomly generated number in my table called code, bring back the second column, which is the character that that number refers to. And there has to be an exact match. And then replicate that down to the bottom. So this is my password. And when I calculate again, I get a different password, uppercase G, lowercase f, lowercase p, lowercase o, hash i, are both in lowercase and then a zero. And each time I calculate, I'll get a different random password. So what I now need to do is take those eight characters and place them in my little yellow box. Let's use the concatenate function equals concatenate. And I want that cell, comma, 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 that cell. So those are my eight cells that will make up my password and return will give me my random password, which I can then now copy and paste into my whatever program I'm looking to get a new password for. It could be email, it could be the banking system. I then hide these. But I don't need to see them on the screen. But they'll still work every time I click calculate. Now I get a different password. Now, next stage requires that you've actually done some macro work. So what I want to do is create a very tiny macro that can be attached to this button. So rather than me remembering that I have to go to the formulas bar and click calculate now to create a new password, I can just click this button. And all that button will do for me is run the calculate now routine. So I need to firstly create a new macro. So in order to do that, I go to the developer ribbon, choose record macro. If your developer ribbon is not actually activated, you can start recording your macro by coming down to the lower green status bar here and click that button to start recording. So I want to record a new macro. I'm going to call it past gen. It doesn't need a keyboard shortcut because I'm going to attach it to this button here and I need to store it in this particular workbook. That's okay. I'm currently recording. So I slowly go to what I want to do, which actually formulas calculate now. And that's all I want the macro to do. I can then stop the macro using the white square here or going back to developer and say stop recording. 
I now have a macro created and stored within this book. To assign that to this button, I simply right click the button and choose Assign Macro and choose the Pass Gen Macro that I've just created. OK. Click away to deactivate the button. Now you'll find every time you click it, it runs the refresh or recalculate, which then gets my hidden functions that I cannot see to regenerate eight more random numbers between the range of my lookup, looks up those values and returns me the eight random characters. And you would have a job and a lot of clicking to get the same sequence of characters to repeat themselves again. So this is generate a new password using the password generation, using the random number function to then use a lookup in our little code table. So we're restricting the characters that can be used in our password. And then we're concatenating those to show them as a single password that I can then copy and paste into whatever system I need a new password for.